is a weird feeling again, um, being in front of the camera and filming. So, hey, um, I'm Makeup Twin. Um, I also go by Krissa and I'm back, I think. Um, I was in the mood to film, which was a really weird feeling to me. Um, so I thought I'd capitalize on that feeling and just go with it. Um, I already did my eyes and my brows, but I thought I'd do my base and just um, fill you guys in on, you know, where I've been, what's been going on in my life, and why I left. So if you're curious, um, I guess keep on watching. Let's do this. Right. So I already primed my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, and now I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation with the Dewy Finish. And I'm just gonna be putting that over my face. I don't have like the most ideal setup, so it's gonna look a little bit wonky. Um, about, I look so silly right now. I'm gonna be talking about where I've been. So, um, what's been happening since the last time I uploaded? Um, a lot. So, why did I first initially leave? Um, well, I. I'm acting as though like I've got a question, like people sent me questions or anything, anyways. So I left because I initially just didn't feel good enough for YouTube. I'm looking in the viewfinder and I forgot just how hard filming actually is. I have no idea, um, I can't remember for the life of me how to do anything. So let's see how this goes, but um, yeah, I left because I just uh, didn't feel as though I was good enough for YouTube. I felt as though, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Um, I was just putting unnecessary pressure on myself and in my head, oh my gosh, <laughs> in my head I felt as though nobody was actually watching my videos, so what's the point? Um, at that point in my life too, I was working jobs that made me very unhappy and I think it reflected on me personally and with everything in my life. Um, so, you know, that was a lot. So at one point I was working, um, I was working three part-time jobs. All, all of them made me unhappy. Um, I was working two retail jobs and then one that um, was a government job. And it just, it wasn't it, you know, and if when you're not happy doing something, it just, it's so, it changes you. And I was so unhappy. It just, it just wasn't giving me purpose, but it was giving me money. But the two retail jobs, they were just minimum wage. So I'm like, I'm burning out for a, like for minimum wage. And for those that don't know, like I'm located here in, oh my gosh, I'm like this. You can't even see what I'm doing. Um, I'm located in Newfoundland. I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm located in Newfoundland and um, Newfoundland has one of the lowest um, minimum wage rates. Um, so it's not like I'm making a lot of money. I went to school for four years and I was working jobs that weren't even in my field. And it just made me so mad and sad and you know, all these emotions. So I was just like, no, I can't do this anymore. So I ended up quitting all those jobs and I went to try and find a job in my field. I'm just gonna take a brush now and see. Um, try to find a job in my field. If you can't see what I'm doing because of the mirror, I'm so sorry. It just, I tried and I, I, I got a job in my field. And for the life of me, I can't even remember what I was. Maybe a floor walker, I think that's what it was. And that was essentially like, you're dressed in civilian clothes, like normal clothes, and you're trying to um, spot shoplifters, and then you would arrest them and then follow that procedure. So I did that, and I was like, lit, like, I went to school for, you know, the private sector, so this is in my field. I could do this, and then there's so many more options that can take me in this career. So I was like, this is just the beginning of my career. Let's do this. Like. It's a private company based out of Nova Scotia um, who happened to, you know, expand into Newfoundland. This is only the beginning. This is going to be great for my career and starting off. So I did that. And 
it just wasn't it. Like I did it for, I was at that for a couple of weeks and then I got promoted to manager position and I wasn't expecting it at all. It just kind of happened. The guy that was in that position, he got um, accepted for the Coast Guard, Canadian Coast Guard. So they needed someone to fill it right away. And I knew that um, they knew what I was looking for. So they offered me the position and I took it. And I was like, this is incredible. This is everything that uh, I was looking for because I was working, it was part-time working up to full-time. That's how they had you. So, but I was working full-time hours. So I was like, this is, this is just the beginning of it. I'm going to get an, uh, a raise. Like this is going to be, why do I look so weird right now? But I was like, this is going to be incredible for me. I can actually be happy now but for a couple of months. And then it started going downhill fast. So um, now I'm just going to take the CoverGirl banana powder. Um, and it was the most toxic thing ever. So I would be going to the local drugstores like that we have a contract with. And, um, you know, I did the hiring process. I hired a bunch of people. It was, I had authority. I had my own office. Like, I made my own hours. It was really, really nice. I got to say, because I made my schedule only work Monday to Friday. But the thing is, oh, this is way too much too. What am I doing, Krista? What am I doing? I'm trying to come back on YouTube and I'm just, not, I'm, I kind of went downhill. It was so... Um, this main store that I worked at was super um, sexist. So my old boss was a male, and now I'm a, obviously a woman and a woman and um, in this new position of somewhat of authority. And I don't know what if she took well to that, which was uh, the store manager's a woman, but it was so sexist and it was just it was so toxic that I was like I can't do this anymore. So I left, got a job. I'm going to be using the Kenya Altive Kenya on. Antiviros. Antiviros? I don't know. It's a Latina owned um, makeup beauty brand. But I was, you know, I thought I was finding my way. And then, of course, some something has to happen and um, makes me miserable again. Because I was bringing that negativity and stuff home. And if I have to bring the BS from work home, that's a wrap for me. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I just was so unhappy. I remember, you know, being on the phone with my sister, being like, this is it. I'm done. So I, I was, I remember still, I remember still being on my scheduled work. I think I had, I got into an argument with, um, one of the managers there and the manager and like the store manager were best friends. So of course they took sides. The woman was basically, she was a Karen. And the funny thing is her name is Karen. So <laughs> I ended up, um, applying to a job, a full-time job in the beauty industry and ended up getting it. And I've been there now, it's gonna be, why do I look so weird? That was 2018. So I started my new job in October of 2018 that year. Oh my God, there's something in my eye. First time I used that setting pattern in forever. And it's like, how can I come back to YouTube and the products I'm using just ain't it. You know what I mean? Like freelance has been kicking up. So I've been doing freelance makeup. I did, I did my sister's uh, makeup for her wedding, which is absolutely beautiful. She looked, it was one of those things like where my sister, she looked, you couldn't look at her without getting emotional because she just, ah, uh, it was like the most perfect day. I'm so happy I could do her makeup. She just looked so flawless. 2019 was a big year for me and I'll explain why. Mm -hmm. May of 2019. <clears throat> How can I make a YouTube video doing my makeup if I can't even do my makeup? Like, oh, whew. Whew, shit. May of 2019, I got engaged. Oh, this doesn't actually look that bad now. I just got to do the under eyes, but there's still something in my eye. Got it. Um, so in May, I got engaged and it was the most perfect way Daryl did it. So at that point, Daryl and I have been together for five years and he proposed in uh, the most perfect way and it was incredible and so emotional and I wouldn't change it for 
anything. Why am I putting on more blush if I just said I look like, anyway. So that was in May. And then for our birthday, my twin sister and Akrina are, you've met, she's been on my page a couple of times. Um, our birthday's in July and we've always had our birthday celebrate together. Um, so her and her boyfriend at the time, now fiance, flew down so we could have a birthday together. And on our birthday, we, Daryl and I found out that we were pregnant. So at that point, we were currently, I believe, either five or six weeks pregnant. And it was the most amazing um, birthday gift anyone could ever have. You know what I mean? It was so emotional. I still remember, because um, I had a feeling, because um, we've been trying for quite some time. And I had a feeling, and uh, Daryl was just like, just take it. Because I was starting to get cramps, like period cramps. And I was like, oh no, like, I don't, like, obviously that's not what I'm hoping to have. So Daryl's like, just take the test. And um, we were at my um, in-laws at the time and we were all in the kitchen. So it was me, Karina, Garrett, her, her fiance and Daryl. And it was, I think you gotta wait a couple of minutes, I think three minutes. Um, so Daryl and I had it down. And at the three minute mark, we're like, okay. So we looked together and it said we were pregnant and we just cried in each other's arms and it was so exciting. And then Karina's like, what was, like, what's happening? What's going on? Because she didn't know if it was a good cry or a bad cry. And when we showed it to her, we were like this, she started crying. It was so amazing. And um, then in August of the same year, in 2019, we got a house. So there's been a lot going on, um, a lot of exciting, exciting things. And then we had our son in March this year, we had our son the day the world um, shut down here in Newfoundland. Um, my work closed on March 14th and that's the day we had him. So um, it was really scary because there was a lot of not knowing at that time. Um, but Daryl was able to be with me um, while uh, when I gave birth and he was able to be with me for the couple of days for me to recover because we had to have an emergency C-section. But yeah, Bronnie is here. Um, so now we have a six month old son, crazy to say that, but now, so we got engaged, we got a house, we have a baby, and now we're planning on getting married in 2022. It was originally gonna be 2021, but a lot was happening, so um, we're now getting married in 2022 in Jamaica. So definitely keep an eye out because I'm going to be doing, well, over the next little bit, I'm gonna be doing um, some makeup trials for myself because I'm not too sure if I wanna do my makeup or if I'm gonna have somebody else do my makeup, but I know how I like my makeup, so I'm probably gonna do my makeup. and. I'm actually going to finish my under eyes because I don't like how I'm looking right now. So, yeah, and the most exciting thing was that my sister Karina and I, like, we've always talked about ever since we were twins, like, ever since we were kids that, you know, we're going to have kids at the same time. And they ended up getting pregnant and they had their son um, three months after, almost three months to the day. So... Our son Bronson was born on March 14th and their son Gianluca was born June 13th. So almost three months to the day. And it's crazy because my sisters and I, so Klesha, me and Krina, um, you know, we're a family of girls. And my sister had a son, um, Klesha. She was actually pregnant when she got married um, with Jace. And then we had Bronny and then Krina and Garrett have Gianluca. So it's literally like, okay, all boys now. I don't know, it's just crazy, you know. Daryl, he has been able, I don't know if that was out of focus or not, but he has been able to um, be home with us while this whole pandemic, global pandemic was happening. Because he was supposed to be scheduled out to work April 1st. Um, and we had our son, we were originally due March 27th and we actually had our son March 14th, but he was due to go to work um, April 1st. But with this um, COVID-19, he's been able to be home with us. So it's like we're both on mat leave, which um, not many people can say that they had both partners at home. Um, so I'm super grateful for that. Um, even though being away from home, um, my family has still yet to meet my little guy. But I mean, it's, it breaks my heart. But I mean, I just got to be positive. I mean, I've got a healthy baby. I am fortunate enough to FaceTime with my family anytime I want to and they can see him and he recognizes their voice and he gets all smiley with them. So it's not like they're strangers. Um, but I know I just got to be hopeful that, you know, one day they're going to be reunited. We'll even meet and Luca and Bronny can meet and Jace and Bronny can meet. It's just going to be great. And I just, it's hard. Um, it's definitely hard to think about when it's like, 
I'm for those who don't know me I'm super close with my family like we have a family group chat and we call each other every night and it's hard but I mean you got to stay positive because it's everyone's being safe you know what I mean so they're seeing each other and this isn't forever so um and Daryl's been absolutely incredible with um with that and it's just been amazing so I feel as though I'm kind of ready to kind of get back into the swing of things on YouTube I'm not too sure yet I mean being on YouTube it's very intimidating I still don't really know what I'm at and what I want this channel to be I know I love makeup and I know my makeup has definitely evolved I don't want to look at my videos because it's kind of cringeworthy but I love makeup so I think I'm going to you know do tutorials and all that jazz but um, I'm not really sure so I hope that you follow along with me and see where this channel takes me um, but yeah so I'm going to finish up my lips pop on some highlighter and then wrap this video up all right so this is the finished look as you can see I went a little ham with the highlight what is new popped on a lippy and this is just the elf lipstick this is the satin one in the shade cider definitely very fall I think I found Fred Duke for it but I don't know we'll see but um and I added a little bit of glitter I don't know if you can see but the flick of the wrist but I'm happy with how this turned out I totally forgot that I have dance in an hour and a half so I might you know get my dance on in this I'm not sure this isn't very I don't know we'll see how it goes I mean I might take this off literally after I take this I don't know we'll see but thanks so much for watching guys I really appreciate it I hope you can understand you know what's been going on but it felt really good to film again and I think I got that fire lit within um I you know the ideas are rolling in my head of what I could possibly film for you guys like I was talking about wedding trials and all that stuff maybe client videos I don't know would you want to see that when I freelance um let me know what you want to see if anyone's watching but um yeah i don't really know how to end these anymore um i forget what i called you guys um but yeah thanks so much for taking the time um i'll definitely try to you know film again i guess i'll see you guys later bye guys